Hey everyone, this is Natasha from Makeup and SFC. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have created this soft, glamorous look using drugstore products and drugstore tools. This is a collaboration with my friend Maddie, who is Madeline Dubon here on YouTube. She has also created this beautiful look right here that I'm showing you. So if you'd like to see both of our tutorials on how to create these beautiful prom looks, then please keep on watching. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite prom memory or maybe um, if you haven't had prom yet, go ahead and tell me about your dress because I love hearing about what everyone's wearing. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Today I'm going to start with my e.l.f. This is my Aqua Primer Mist. Shake that up. So I just took the Primer Mist and I spread it around. So I'm going for a more long-lasting finish, so I'm going to put these two foundations together. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and this is the Infallible Pro Matte. I think the two of these together really make a long-lasting formula. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. Oops. I forgot to prime. Well, hopefully that primer water is enough, you know. Then I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge. I'm going to spray a little bit of that primer water on it. It's going to tap some of that on the back of my hand to take away some of the excess water. And I'm going to blend that into my skin. Sponges are a really great way to blend makeup into the skin because it just smooths everything out and makes it really even as opposed to a brush where you might get streaks. You want to blend it down the neck. You want to cover the ears. And then you just want to blend into the hairline because you don't want yourself to look like you have a mask. That is a no-no for prom. Okay, so that is an even thin layer. For prom, you want thin layers. I'm going to use my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in Medium, and I'm going to use that to highlight places. So for younger girls, you don't have crazy under eye circles, so use the concealer with your discretion, but concealer saves lives. So if you studied hard for that test, concealer is going to be your best friend. But I figure if you're seniors, it's kind of like the tail end of your year, so maybe you're not studying, or maybe you're doing finals. So again, I'm going to take that damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to blend that. And the important part to all of this is setting everything. You just want your skin to look nice and even. You don't want to look too cakey, and so this is a nice, even surface. To make sure that my under eyes don't crease, I'm going to set my under eye concealer with NYC Loose Powder and my e.l.f. blush brush. I've taken the little sifter out so I can just get in there. This is optional, but if you want to look like you're a little bit glowy, I'm going to use the Sephora. These are the Luminizing Drops, and I'm going to take a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And I'm going to put that on my highest points of the face. So the highest points of your face are tops of the cheekbones, the bridge of your nose, tops of the eyebrows, and cupid's bow and chin because it just brings that luminosity to your face. Makes you look like you're young and youthful, but you already are young and youthful. But anyway, just when you catch the light, it makes you look like you're really um, healthy looking 17 years old. <laughs> so I'm putting that right at the tops of my cheekbones going to help my um, highlighting powder later on just amped up a little bit more. So I'm applying with one finger and then using the other finger to tap away or to blend. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. This is my total face brush and I'm going to use my setting powder which is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is a really great powder to last all night. And this is something that I recommend you take in your little clutch, your little purse. And so I'm going to set the rest of my face. So these are the things that you want to test drive while you're doing your makeup. If you are someone who's oily, then without powder, your makeup might just disappear throughout the day. But if you're dry, then you don't necessarily need to powder. I am very oily, so I powder all the time, and especially the T-zone area and the chin. I'm going to take my City Color Cosmetics. This is the um, 
contour effects kit i'm going to take that bronzing color and this is a bh cosmetics brush i'm going to first contour my cheeks so and take that right under there and just keep going back and forth and once i've gotten most of the product on then i'm going to start to do circles do it down on the jawline because again you're bringing balance to your face so I'm not just going to contour my cheeks and not do anything to the top and bottom I'm gonna want to balance now again you want to make sure that you drag that powder down because you don't want to have like a chocolate bar down there chocolate bar I'm <laughs> I'm always hungry okay get on the other side you're gonna put back and forth strokes once you have the product on, then you go a circles, blending, and then bringing everything to the bottom and to the top. Now I'm not packing my brush with tons of product. I'm taking a little bit at a time and I'm building, building the color on the side of my face. Now to contour, I'm going to take the darker shade right here. This brush is more tapered. And so now I'm going to take that darker shade and take that on the tip of the brush and I'm going to contour even deeper into this area get most of the product on and then start doing circles so I don't know if you can tell the difference between this cheek and this cheek the power of contouring people and then do the same to the other side and I'm going to take whatever's left and I'm just going to blend the whole area now if you've gone a little bit too crazy I'll take the powder brush that I used to set my makeup and I'll just go over the areas just like that so it sort of just diffuses all the work if you want to get fancy and you want to make sure that your contour is crisp and it's clean go back to your translucent powder with that blush brush and you're going to put a little bit of that under your contour just like that so baking is when you put powder on top of a surface and it just lightens up that area and just makes it a little bit more crisp for example for our purposes we are crisping up our contour so I'm gonna leave that there for a while while we do our other makeup so we have let that bake on our face for a while now so I'm just gonna brush that away contour so now I'm gonna take my wet n wild eyeshadow primer they've now repackaged this into a white tube um, but this is the one that they did with Fergie I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my eyes because it's very important to prime your eyelids especially if you want your eyeshadow to last all night long. The thing about baking is that you get powder all over your clothes, so definitely make sure you wear a Batman onesie while you're getting ready. <laughs> get ready in your pajamas. I put on my dress like at the end. So I'm going to take my Wet n Wild uh, brow gel and I'm going to use this to prep my brows for product. Now I'm going to take my Ardell. This is my brow kit in the shade dark I'm going to sort of blaze through this part because brows are so personal that it really depends on what your brows look like if you have thinner brows you can naturally go with what they're doing or you can try to thicken them up depending on the shape so now I'm going to set my brows with a stronger gel this is the elf gel and I'm going to just take one of the sides take most of it off and then set my brows. Oh, I'm going to take this e.l.f. This is just a flat shader brush, and I'm going to use this palette right here. This palette is super, super cheap. If you can get this mailed to your house before prom, it is under $3, so this is a really nice palette. I'm gonna take this white shade and I'm going to put that under my brow bone just to highlight and to set all the cream products that we used a little while ago. And I'm going to take this light brown shade and I'm going to take this on a BH Cosmetics brush and I'm going to put that in the crease of my eye. So I'm going to blend that back and forth, back and forth. Nothing exciting. 
And then once I've got most of the product, I'm going to do small circles. So back and forth, back and forth, small circles. I'm holding my brush at the end because it makes my grip a little bit looser. And so I'm going back and forth, back and forth, and then small circles. Now I'm going to take a smaller tapered brush. This is a crown brush. Uh, it is a pro blending brush. I forget what the number is, but I think it's like 433. I'm going to take a sort of darker color. I'm going to take this tannish color, take that on the tip of my brush, tap off the excess. I'm going to go deeper into my crease. So I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth. Once I have most of the product, small circles. If you tilt your head back, you can see your crease. So I'm going to just go back and forth back and forth from inner corner to outer corner so if you can tell from the ins from the left eye from the right eye it's a little bit deeper and you'll feel it that's what it feels like I'm gonna take that blending brush the bigger one and just buff out the edges to make sure that there are no harsh lines so we are getting from lightest to darkest so the lightest shade we put on with a big fluffy brush then we went in with a smaller brush to get deeper into the crease now I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to get an even darker brown color so I can get in the deeper, deeper, deep. <laughs> so I'm going to take this brown, dark brown shade right there, take a little bit of that on my brush because we're going to build up the color. And again, we're going to go back and forth, back and forth, but you see I'm not as high up as I was before. Back and forth. Now I'm like practically on my lid. Back and forth, back and forth small circles now it's easy to like mess this up so think of it as you're like barely going into the to the product and this is what this is the outcome that you're gonna get so now I'm gonna do the other side like look at how much product I have in there it's practically nothing so I'm gonna go back and forth back and forth once I have most of the product then I'm gonna do circles now what you're going to do is you're going to do inner and outer corner with the same dark brown. So you're going to tap it right here. And you're going to tap it in here. If you don't have a lot of lid space, then you can get a smaller brush, like a pencil brush, and do the same thing in here. and in here. You're leaving that middle space empty because you're going to use a different shadow in there. And you're gonna take your blending brush again and just blend out the edges, so small circles. So now I'm gonna do the other eye and then we're gonna hatch up. This is a Milani single in the shade Bella Champagne. And I'm going to take that on my finger actually and I'm just going to take that on my ring finger and I'm going to press that right into the center of my lid. I'm putting that right in the space where we had nothing on it. Then I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend out the sides and around just so that it's not so harsh. And it has a really cool effect because it looks like a smoky eye but then it's still bright and glowy. I'm actually going to put that in my inner corner too. So I'm going to take that with my finger and I'm just going to press that in the inner corner. So I'm going to take that pink eyeshadow again. I'm going to touch that right in the center down there. Right in the center over here. And then on either side I'm going to put dark brown. Connecting it to this outer corner. And now I'm going to take a blush. And I'm going to use this Coral Cove blush from Milani. And take a little bit of that and I'm going to put that on my cheekbones, pulling it upwards. So I'm going to take that right on the back of my cheeks. And it's a matte blush because my highlight is going to be really glowy. Take my e.l.f. fan brush and I'm going to use that with my Wet n Wild. This is Catwalk Pink. 
This is the reformulated um, illuminator. So I'm going to take all the colors, dust that off, and I'm going to put that on my cheekbones. And pretty much anywhere I put that liquid illuminator. So I'm going to be using these lashes today. They are black and brown and they're a little bit lighter than some dramatic lashes because I really want the spotlight and the eyeshadow to show. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put a little bit of my duo glue. It's a dark tone but you can totally use the clear one. And I'm going to put that on the back of my hand. So depending on your eye shape, you'll probably have to trim, but if you don't have to trim, then you can just put on the glue. The great thing about Ardell is that their lash bands are so thin that it makes it really easy to um, apply close to your lash line. So I'm going to wait for that to get tacky, and then I'm going to put them on. So I like to apply mascara after I've applied my lashes. I'm going to take my CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara, and I'm just going to touch that at the bottom. Now I'm going to take my Essence uh, I Heart Volume Extreme and I'm going to use that on my lower lash line. Now that the eyes are done, for the lips, I'm going to be using this uh, Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Lip Color in the shade Tiramisu. And it, because it's a long-lasting formula, it's going to help last throughout the night. Been almost 10 years since I went to prom. I went with my best friend's brother and now he's married. I've been in a relationship for almost nine years so <laughs> it just worked out. I'm so exhausted and I'm trying to eat. Where's the chicken dough?